Hello there, welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and this video, uh, this video is part of a video series covering all the good stuff around Aruba data center networking. Um, and in this particular video, I will show you some um, very powerful features of very powerful integration uh, features uh, between Aruba Fabric Composer and um, VMware vSphere. Um, so what I'm going to show you in this video is uh, how to create that integration, all right? so how to set it up, uh, and all the good stuff that you get from it. In addition, what I will show you is um, what we can do with Aruba Fabric Composer is we, we can have this as a plugin into the vSphere client, which means that you can run AFC, well, the AFC GUI from the vSphere client. Also going to show you how to set that up. And so let's get to it. Here we are in Aruba Fabric Composer. Um, and you can see I already have some vSphere integrations up and running. And what I'm going to do is I will be adding another vSphere integration just to show you how you can do that. Um, before I do that, just give you the visualization here of that uh, of those vSphere hosts uh, that are already configured. Um, I can just deselect them all or select them all and get the virtual representation of the internal network of the vSphere host. And that's a very powerful feature. Okay, let me add a new vSphere integration. In Aruba Fabric Composer, I can have multiple vSphere hosts uh, being added. And let's add a new one. Let's call it uh, vSphere. Um, and I'll just give it a name. And this would be the host IP address. And actually, let me just move to that screen here, this tab. It's the 10.7.12.19. That's the one I will be integrating. 19. Provide the username and the password. Now, before I continue, let me just validate and see if my authentication is fine. So I can get a, a successful connection to the host. Let's go into the next screen. What I can do here is I can configure some options. Uh, one of the options is the automated VLAN provisioning for ESX hosts directly connected to the fabric. What I can do here is I can assign a range of VLANs um, and what happens is that if I create a workload on uh, the vSphere host and that workload is assigned to a port group that is operating on that, no, on one of these VLANs here, um, AFC will automatically provision the switch port onto where that workload is connected for that VLAN, uh, which means that you kind of like don't have to uh, manually configure those, uh, those VLANs onto the ports. I can do that for uh, hosts that are directly connected to the fabric, but also through hosts that are connected through intermediate switches. Okay, it does require the automatic VLAN provisioning for ESX host uh, to be enabled, right? So that has also has to this one also has to be enabled in order to be able to um, do the automatic provisioning through intermediate switches. And the other option that I have is the automated pre, uh, private VLAN provisioning. If so if I want to work with um, micro segmentation, for example, um, and uh, with micro segmentation, I'm using the private VLAN functionality on the ESXi hosts as well. Um, I also need to provide that uh, automatic private VLAN provisioning, which means that when I uh, create that DVS on vSphere um, and assign those uh, VLANs as like primary or isolated VLANs. Um, 
again, the switch will automatically provision those VLANs to the interfaces. Um, and it would be good to enable the discovery protocols like LLDP so that I can identify which devices are connected to a switch port. Uh, so, and that's really it. You can see the uh, overview here and let's apply. And then the integration is built. You can see that it's connected and let's see if I can get some information in Aruba Fabric Composer. Let's move to the visualization, go to hosts, and I should actually um, see some more hosts here. You can see the 10.7.12.11, 10.7.12.12, and the 10.7.12.13. So these hosts are added, and I can just select that one and see, get an overview of how the internal network structure looks like on the vSphere host. And so that's that's really cool. And then obviously I can use that um, vSphere information to start working with things like um, security policies. So I can use, uh, for example, uh, if I am using tagging on vSphere, uh, so uh, the workloads that ha that might have tags, I might have a group of SQL servers that have a an SQL tag. Um, I can select those tags as endpoint groups uh, when I create an endpoint group in a policy. Um, okay, so that's all working. Let's check out the plugin. And with the plugin, what I can do, uh, what I can achieve with the plugin, if I go to vSphere and go to my uh, menu here, I can actually get uh, an Aruba Fabric Composer plugin uh, working in here. So I can operate my AFC from the vSphere client. And let me just configure that. So I'll go back to Aruba Fabric Composer um, and go back to the vSphere integration. I select the vSphere host and then from the actions menu, I issue the command register plugin what this does it will register the plugin with the vSphere client now actually before i do that i just want to show you something else if i go to administration here um, and check out the client plugins you can see that there is no afc plugin here okay so let's do that again go to register plugin and click ok and then now what happens is that the plugin should be now should now be registered within um, vSphere, the vSphere client. And it could take a couple of minutes to uh, to get that uh, plugin registered, um, but as you can see now, uh, it's there. And so the next thing I need to do is I need to configure some settings. Uh, you will see is that what you'll see is that you have the Aruba Fabric Composer section here as well, and I need to configure some stuff in order to be able to get that uh, GUI into the vSphere client. First thing I have to do is go into certificates, and I need to add the uh, Aruba Fabric Composer certificate in here. PS uh, 10.12.99.25, that would be uh, the URL. And I will just add that one. And you can see that the certificate has been verified and saved, and it's in there. It expires in, well, in 2024. And the other thing I need to do is I need to go into the authentication and update the settings. So my host name would be 99.25, that's the uh, AFC IP address, and then my administrative username and password. Okay, and you can see that the authentication credentials have been verified and updated. So what that means is that um, I should now have the option to run the Aruba Fabric Composer here within the vSphere client. And let's see 
oh, how, what we're getting here. And you can see that uh, we have the GUI within vSphere now. And this is really cool because as a vSphere admin, one of the things that you can do now is you can get a graphical representation of the network within vSphere, which is pretty cool. Um, now, once I have configured this, um, you might also want to be able to remove the plugin. All right, so if I go to the administration section, um, if you do not, you know, if you, you don't want this uh, AFC plugin anymore, you would have to remove that. And let me show you how you can do that. It's a manual process. Uh, this is all vSphere related, but you know, as a bonus, I will show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to go to the uh, this URL. Well, actually, it's, so it's just the IP address of your vSphere host slash mob. Uh, you need to provide the credentials uh, to log into that uh, to that section. Okay, so I've just filled that in, sign in, and then you get into the managed object reference uh, instance. So what we need to do is we need to uh, remove these client plugins here. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into content, and there's the extension manager option here. And what you'll see is if I click on the more, you can see the complexity, plexi connect and complexity connect extension. And these are the two uh, Aruba Fabric Composer uh, extensions that I need to remove. And now what I can do here is there is this option here, unregister extension. So I'll click on that one, I'm getting a pop-up. And what I have to do is I have to provide the com.plexi, plexi connect, and just invoke the method. So just post it. You see uh, method invocation result is void, but you'll what you'll see in a minute is that that extension is removed. And the other uh, extension is the com.plexi.connect extension. And that's void as well. Let me just close the browser, refresh, and check out whether the extensions are still there. And you can see, you can see that the extensions are gone. Okay. And now let me just go back to vSphere. Uh, what you might think that because I have removed the extensions, the the extensions are also gone here in the client plugins plugins, but no, that's not true. And this is kind of like a vSphere uh, issue. Um, now, the way to resolve this is, is that you actually have to restart the vSphere client. And let me show you how you can do that. I'll just open a new tab and go into the slash UI slash services page probably also have to log in there but you know in any case uh, so what you have here is the VM appliance management and you uh, you end up in the services tab and in the services tab you have this VMware vSphere client service and you can see that it's running and started and the only thing you have to do is just restart that service to confirm service restart don't worry all, all your vms will still be up and running this is only rebooting the client and once that client is restarted let me check the vSphere client again okay let's move down to the vSphere client you can see it started up again and let's move back in here and refresh the screen And so, yeah, so now you can see that the plugin information is gone. And that's a wrap, actually.
thanks for watching the um, i'm gonna show you some any more good stuff in so upcoming just videos cleaning up um, that plugin. all around aruba data center networking talking about the aruba os cx operating system aruba fabric composer uh, the distributed services switches pensando services manager um clearpass integration i mean all that good stuff that uh, we can have in the data center with aruba networks if you like the video there's this thumbs up button that you i hope you can find uh, feedback or questions are very very welcome and i hope to see you soon thanks very much for watching and bye bye Thank <laughs> you.